to the airport and see where airplanes stay. We can go in hangars and look out on the runway. Argyle and Jim are here to guide us on our trip. Most planes fly straight, but some of them do flips. You know, Jim, planes sure are complicated machines. N no, they're not. A plane takes off, plane lands. Plane takes off, plane lands. What's so complicated about that? I mean the machine. There's so much that makes a plane work. You've got the engine, the propeller, the landing gear, the wheels, all the electronics that the pilot needs. Y yeah, that may be true, but I bet that there are only three parts that you need to make an airplane fly. Three parts? Three parts? What do you mean? An airplane needs hundreds of parts to fly. Thousands of them. Nope, I think it needs three parts. Okay, fine, Mr. I have an aerodynamics degree from Carnegie Mellon. Let's see these three parts. I'll show you. A rectangle, a circle, and a triangle. Well, those are just shapes. What about wings? Okay, wings. Wings are rectangles. Name another part you think we need to fly. Hmm. 
Hmm, okay. Well, you couldn't take off or land without wheels. How about wheels? Right. Wheels. What kind of shape is a wheel? A wheel is round, like a circle. Okay, the tail. You need a tail to fly in a straight line. How about the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizer? The tail is a triangle and a rectangle. Anything else? Fuselage? Rectangle. Uh, windows? Rectangles. Wind shield? Rectangle. Uh, instrument panel. Circles. And a couple rectangles. Ah! Jim! A plane is about more than just shapes. It's about flight and physics and fun. Well, yeah, but are there any other parts you might want to stump me with? Okay, Mr. Smart Guy, how about this? The propeller. <laughs> okay, well, that's easy. A circle. A circle? A circle? How is that a circle? Well, contact! See? A circle! Trip. Most planes fly straight!